all. Welcome to the Service Now Star. On today's episode, we're going to discuss about a couple of things. Uh, how many of you are really excited for the Service Now new release, the upcoming Service Now new release? I know it's not uh, it's not been quite a long since we have the new instance, which is the Orlando release. But um, there's another release is coming up, which is the new the new instance is going to be released very soon, somewhere around in September. But before, uh, I mean, the early release, uh, as you all know, ServiceNow is giving us a new instance every six months. So that is the cool future of ServiceNow. That means every six months you will have new capabilities, new future. Let's say you have an instance right now that you are using it. Let's uh, take an, ex as an example of you may using Orlando or you may use in Kingston or New York. Whatever instance you are working on, you might do some custom workers, right? Uh, some features that you don't have currently. So when you have this new release, you know, the reason behind having a new release, you'll have new additional functionalities. Think about the performance analysis when it came first. A lot of clients, they were asking, how can I add an advanced performance analytics feature? How can I add the machine learning capability, right? Like it could be like an auto assignment or machine learning algorithm that can go ahead and uh, assess all the description and find those keywords, right? These oral capability are now in service now because of the new features, the new release, right? So a new feature is coming, which is a new release is coming very soon, which is called the Paris release. It's coming up. And um, I got an email that was, uh, there is in July 21, on July 21, 2020, if you'll be able to attend, which is just, uh, today is 20, which is tomorrow is 21, from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. As if you uh, watched this video before that, don't forget to register and sign up and watch this interesting future which is the interesting webcast on the uh, service now the paris release so they're going to give us uh, early preparation so like how can you prepare to get those all the benefits that every uh, the new release is bringing us which is the paris release so that is scheduled for tomorrow which is 21 um, when i make this video which is 20 today so uh, this video is in there but you will not be able to attend tomorrow's session which is on 21 July 21 2020 the early release for the Paris which is uh, directly from the service now you can uh, I will add it on the description and so I will add uh, some of the main takeaway that I get it from that conference because I have registered and I will make sure I will attend that one and I will bring for you guys great so primarily today uh, we're going to discuss it's so exciting, right, to be in a uh, new release, especially the Paris, which is going to come in Q3. Uh, we are in 2020, so it's going to come in Q3 of the uh, quarter 3 of the 2020 the Paris release. So what makes you exciting here uh, when you have this new instance? The good thing is uh, if, you have, if you are like a good client and um, a, a client of service now, a long time client of service now, which is uh, might make you a qualified uh, customer, an existing qualified customer. So you can get that the early release. Uh, the early release, when you get that early release, you can be able to upgrade your instance ahead of time, from uh, ahead of time, when it's uh, before it's become available on the market. So that's an important thing. So you can be able to see what are the new things there, and you can upgrade your instance and get all the new cool features so uh, we have already we are now right now in Orlando which came in Q1 and in Q3 we have Paris so which is really exciting for most of us really exciting because when you have that new release it's always good to see and good to have all those new functionalities right yeah that's a good thing we might all of us remember that the new release which we are currently right now on Orlando uh, have a lot of new functionalities, right? The new features, uh, which we've been 
waiting for a loan. Like some of the features like photo search. You can use an image recognition to give users a guide help. I mean, that's a great thing. And the multi-scan was also a new feature, which is it can help you to improve your agent productivity with multi-asset scanning in flow on a mobile. So that was a new thing we got in Orlando. It will help you also get your branding for mobile app with your mobile app branding features. So whatever your branding features you want to add. So we got that one here in Orlando as well. So you see when you upgrade your instance from New York where you um, been before New York to Orlando, you got all those new functionalities. And let's talk about the contextual uh, VA as well, which is the virtual agent that enable the virtual agent detection flow on a mobile. That's a good feature as well that we got it in Orlando release. And some of them additional uh, Orlando release features like the hardware normalization, the value stream map, the contract stream map, the contract renewal, onboarding user case, mission control, chat opportunities, okay? You know, NLQ as well, uh, NLQ, anything, NLQ, and you got the customer 360. All those cool features came here in Orlando. And some of you might have been wondering what new functionality we're going to have in Paris, right? For that, uh, if you are a good client for a service now, partner, so it's good to ask and be participate, especially tomorrow. Uh, there is a seminar uh, that's organized by ServiceNow, so you can attend that one. You can have the early uh, sneak peek, so you can see what new functionality is coming in Paris. And as well as, uh, not only that, you can have also the early release access, which is before it's going to be available for the market, you can upgrade your instance uh, to the uh, Paris release, which is coming in September, like I said, uh, coming in September, which is the quarter three of 2020. So, there are a lot, uh, there is a Cubic as well, which is a new, new release, which is going to come in 2021, 2021, which is in March, uh, March, Q1 of March, that's we're going to have. So, what I advise, some, some clients, I've seen some of, you know, uh, push not to upgrade their instance. So, that's not a good thing, especially, these days, you're getting a lot of new functionality from ServiceNow. So, I'm really advising anyone to upgrade their instance. So, when you upgrade your instance, and now you might be impacted for the first one day, two day. But think about that. You have Paris here, Cubic is coming, and as well as Rob in 2021 Q3. So, same like the September Q3 of the Paris. Great. With that, I want to continue and discuss about the domain separation, which is uh, one of an important topic. So as you can see right here on Ju uh, July 21, 2020, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., this uh, Paris release, early release uh, webinar is going to happen here in ServiceNow. Uh, again, that's Mohammed Rashid Kamal from this uh, Global Mindset University, ServiceNow star. Don't forget to like, comment, and as well as subscribe to get more new videos. Alright, until we see each other, I wish you, you have a great day. And also, make sure you come back and check this uh, uh, video description for the next video. Alright, with that, that's Mohammed Rashid Kamal. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye. See ya.